Hi, it's Lou Bartone from LouBartone.com, and I wanted to share with you this uh, demo and uh, tutorial for Video Maker FX. This is some new software that just came out. It's really amazing, really affordable, and it can do some pretty cool things. Now, before I show you Video Maker FX, I want to show you what you used to need to be able to do these kinds of videos. So here is Adobe After Effects and this is what I use to create motion graphics and animated videos. So as you can see without having to explain too much of this, this is an extremely complex software. It is really difficult to use, it is expensive, it has taken me years and years to learn how to use it. You can see here every element, every layer you've got to work on each layer each element oh man it's just a nightmare uh, but this is really the the industry standard for creating motion graphics so you can see here when I was creating this video uh, just the the detail and the layers and the complexity involved here um, there's a lot of moving pieces as you can see and it is not an easy piece of software to learn how to use by any stretch of the imagination. So this is what it took to create those kinds of motion graphics in the past. Oops, we got a little beach ball here, there we go. And uh, not only that, but once you were done with the After Effects part of the motion graphics and the animation, you then had to go to Final Cut Pro and you'd have to add your audio and do additional editing in Final Cut Pro. So this is not the same um, timeline here. This is an on-camera video, but you can see, again, even Final Cut Pro is a bit challenging. So uh, this is all on a Mac, Adobe After Effects, and Final Cut Pro. Uh, both of these softwares are relatively complex. Now. When Video Maker FX came out, um, it pretty much turned everything upside down because now you can create those kinds of motion graphics um, pretty much in minutes. I mean, literally, it's just crazy easy. So they've got all kinds of different templates that you can choose from. When you start with Video Maker FX, you go to create a project and then you have the big old add slide thing here. When you click the add slide, you've got a bunch of different options for various templates and slides. So there's everything from, you know, here's one that's sales letter. Um, you can add one slide at a time, or you can add all the slides. So here's another one that's a character promo. You can get a preview of what it looks like over on the side here. So these are all the different elements. I mean, this used to take, you know, hours with um, Adobe After Effects and Final Cut Pro and now it's all pre-built for you so basically you just select the template that you want or the character that you want here's one with another character um, they have all kinds of different things to choose from here's a multi-purpose promo let's see what that one looks like so you can see the text comes on there so basically what you do is when you find the uh, template that you want to use um, or the style that you want to use. Let's take um, the character promo here for Anna, just for fun. So here's the Anna character promo, here's the various slides. But what we're going to do is we're going to just do add all slides because that'll give us the, um, the whole deal that we can mix and match. So I did add all slides and boom, all those slides are there already. Now you can change the order of these like this, just drag and drop. You can change the text, you can add photos. Um, you can, it's just gonna play the, the frame that you have open, it's gonna play over and over again. So let's pause that. Um, so here's our friend here, character Anna. And you can see here when I click on this particular frame or slide, um, it's gonna give me a bunch of image a bunch of things over here so text area one she wants to travel text area two but is having trouble text area three booking a flight so these are the 
um, places where you customize. So if you want to make this a promo for your uh, product or service, basically you just um, change the lines in here. So you take that, um, and if you're doing text area one, she wants to travel. Um, she's a whiny pain. I'm not being very nice here, but you get the idea. You just change each text area, um, and nobody likes her. Oops, that didn't fit. We're going to have to shrink it a bit, but that's okay. Actually, it fits all right. I could change the text size here and go down and just say, okay, let's make that a little smaller. Oh, let's make nobody likes her red instead of... Um, Oops, I made it black. Um, I can change the font. Nobody likes her, nobody likes here. Um, so I've got all these different fonts that I can change it to. Uh, I can actually add shadows and things like that. So let me try a different um, font here. Let's do this one. Okay, and then let's add a shadow to it. So there's a shadow. Um, let's go down to text area three, booking a flight. Um, um, okay, so we can say booking a flight. Let's add a text effect. Let's add a crisp shadow. Boom, I got a nice shadow there. Uh, let's make this smaller. Okay, no problem. Let's change the color. Okay, we can do that. Change the color, make it yellow, whatever you want. So it's really, really easy to customize. Um, you can also add, change the background image. If you want, just go to Images and then Background Image and then click Open Gallery. And that's going to give you uh, a lot of samples of different things that you can put in the back. Uh, example graphics, watermarks, etc. Uh, I'm going to leave this image the same. I'm going to leave this background the same. You can, uh, it's got shapes in here that you can add or take away. See, I just took away the whole background there. This is the background color. And I took away the, the shape here. So you can customize that. Um, you've got animations that you can do for most of these. So you can, this one has like a little down, pointing down arrow, different colors, pointing down arrows. Depends on the template. Everything's different. Each one of these has different uh, animations. Um, you can add your own video clips. You can add your own images, or you can use some of their images. So, I mean, I wouldn't do this, but if I wanted to make um, the background a photo, I could actually do that. So that's kind of cool. I mean, um, you can change the background. You can change the, uh, you can change pretty much everything except the character itself, um, which is fine, because you don't really need to change that anyway. Um, so here I'm just clicking on the image and saying use image, and now I've changed the entire background. Um, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's cancel that. So now, you know, for each frame of your video or your story, you can customize it uh, as much as you want. In fact, you can actually take each frame here, and if you say, well, this one's up for 15 seconds, is that long enough? I don't know. Let's say we want to um, leave it up longer. We just go to slide delay here and then add a few seconds to the slide if you want to do that. Now, if you want this, again, you can drag and drop it, but you could also move it back or move it forward like this with these uh, things down here. Um, if you go to a different slide to tell your story, this particular one is just text. And again, with this one, like the others, you can go into your text and change each area of the text. So each line, if you were doing a promo um, or a video for your product or service, you just go in here and customize these and add your own texts here. So as simple as um, changing out the text. And again, if you don't like that font, you can change the font. Oops, you got to select it here. And see? And you can add your shadows or your glows. That doesn't really work too well. Soft blur or a white shadow. There's a nice white shadow to make it pop. So you change each one of your texts, 
again you know you could go in here and change the background if you wanted to they also have all kinds of icon graphics here and stuff like that let's do this background that'll be fun um, so really you have a lot of flexibility um, and a lot of ways that you can change it some of these animation things for the plain backgrounds do a lot of cool things too I'll try and show you one of those in a moment so you basically go frame by frame through each uh, piece of your story you can duplicate frames like by adding this clicking this button here I just added another one of those now uh, you can get rid of it by clicking the X and you basically arrange your story your video frame by frame until you have it the way you want so here's uh, Anna's happy again she got her flight booked and she's not whining anymore uh, it'll tell you here that this particular clip is 11 seconds and the whole clip is 80 seconds you can see that here and again you can adjust that by moving things around or or uh, adding time to it or just deleting entire frames here so um, again you have a lot of flexibility and you can change all the text and you can add your animations you can change the backgrounds so it's very flexible and really pretty much drag and drop easy to use it's as simple as selecting the text and changing it out and again you can change the font you can change the color you can change the size the alignment you know so we just made that a little bigger and then when you're done with your entire um, series of slides here your whole video you can always preview the project up here um, and it's going to show you you know what we did so you can preview the project at any time you can save the project at any time um, and then you can export it but before you export it check out audio settings because you probably want to add music or voiceover and you can do that by going to the audio settings and then clicking enable music and you can listen to all these different cuts and decide what you like because they give you a bunch of different music to choose from so just go through these, find one that you want a bunch of different things you can use and when you find one that you like you just click apply and now that music track will be added to your video uh, in addition in the audio settings you can um, raise or lower the volume here uh, you can add your own audio file your own mp3 and you can enable voice which means you can record a voiceover track or import a voice track which is great if you want to narrate this um, again you just record it and click apply and your narration or voiceover track will be added as well so you can add music and voiceover and when you're finished with all that then you click export project and it's going to ask you where you want to export it to your desktop or whatever you can change the size or the quality and uh, that's it then you've got your video done so you know it'll take a little bit of experimentation a little bit of fooling around with it till you kind of get the way you want it but this is so so much easier and more affordable than the old Adobe After Effects which was just uh, not an easy piece of software to use not very user friendly uh, and pretty expensive frankly um, and then you go into Final Cut and you've got to do all your audio and, and editing in Final Cut with uh, this unbelievably simple uh, Video Maker FX you can create all kinds of promos I'm gonna cancel this I want to show you before we wrap up here um, some of the other things that you can do because you can also mix and match projects so let's say that um, we don't want to customize this one maybe we want a different one I'm gonna erase all that now I'm gonna go back to add slide and maybe I'm gonna look at a whiteboard um, version this time and add all those slides so now I've got my whiteboard uh, promo video that I can customize and again whatever I write here in the text area the hand will write so and you can see it pretty much in real time too. kick ass baby so uh, you can change the text color again if you want a different 
color marker. You can change the font. Well, actually in this one you can't change the font, but in most of them you can. Um, you could add images if you wanted to. Um, you can put your own images in, or you can put uh, their images in. So if you wanted to add like a social icon, like a Twitter logo or a YouTube logo, that's totally fine. You can do that. Now it's but now it made it the background, which maybe we don't want to do that. So we clear the image. So this is just again same deal. You can rearrange these however you want, um, and whatever you write on here, that's what the hand will come in and write. So that's kind of neat. Um, again, you've got a few choices of animation here. You've got your, your arrows again. Uh, if you wanted to draw attention to something below the video, for example. Um, let's look at a different, let's do add slide and let's look at a different um, effect, a different, um, oh, we did the whiteboard already. How about video sales letter? Let's add all the slides for the video sales letter and see what that gives us. This one is basically a text based thing, so that's not that, that's not that interesting. We'll get rid of that one. And I'm just doing remove slides here. Add slide. Um, here's a different character. That's our character Frank in this case. Um, let's take a look at this one. This will be interesting. Add all slides. So here's another character promo. And uh, again, you can change the text. You can change the shapes. You can change the background. I wonder if this one, let's see if this one, you can change the animation of the background. Now check out the background here. I'm on animation right here. And if I um, do this, I can add, I can totally change the background to different settings. There's the clouds, there's some bubbles, some lines, bright or dark. Just all kinds of different effects that you can do on the background. Arrows, um, all kinds of things here. Uh, here's a hypnotic one. Um, and you can also add with the animation. Again, you can come back here and add your arrows and things like that if you want. If you want to go back to the original, just click it back to zero. So let's go back to zero here. Actually, let's do this one. This is pretty cool. And again, if you want to uh, change your background, um, you can open the gallery here, see what we have to choose from. Um, They've got some example graphics here. Um, let's see what else we have. I don't think you can change the gray in the background on this particular one, but most of the time you can change backgrounds, etc. So that's kind of neat. Um, I think this background is a shape, so if I um, disable that, that's just going to take away that block. If I disable this, it's going to change the whole color of the background. So that's the one where if I did want to change the background color, I'd just do something like that. And now it's completely different because I just made it blue. Simple as that. Click on the, the color shape, choose my background. Whoa, that's a little much. Um, and call it a day. So whatever background, whatever color you select, that's the background that it will turn to. Uh, I can go back here to the to my animation up here in the top right and take away those things if I thought if I think it's too much. Um, I can go back to that kind of grayish gray here if I prefer. And again, for all the text, you just change the text one line at a time. So uh, again, same deal down here. Mix and match. Move if you need to move them. Um, so you just have to really replace the text and customize it. Uh, then add your audio. Again, lots of tracks here to choose from. You can play them just to see what. So lots of tracks to choose from. And you export it and you're done. Couldn't be easier. It is just unbelievable. I wish this was around years ago when I started making videos. It would have saved me many, many hours and many, many dollars. So check out VideoMakerFX at LouBorton.com forward slash VideoMaker. All one word. LouBorton.com forward slash VideoMaker. And give me a shout if you have any questions. Bye for now.